Hi everyone, welcome into this week's My Weekly CBS Fix. This week's video is dedicated in loving memory of Rebetzin Leah Preshel, the wife of our Dean Rabbi Chagi Preshel. May Rabbi Preshel and his children all find comfort among the mourners of Yerushalayim and Zion. In this week's Pasha Parshas Pinchas, Hashem teases Moshe Rabbeinu, he teases Moses. How? Hashem told Moses, you cannot go up into the land of Israel. And Moses really wanted to go there because of all the mitzvahs that were there, because of the beauty that was there. He wanted to connect more with Hashem, as Moses was always doing. And Hashem said to him, you can't go up. However, I want you to go up to the mountain, and you should see the land, what it's all about. And and you should see, you should, you should take, a, take a look of it. And then, you know what, Moses? Then you're going to die. And Asafta Alamacha, you'll be gathered unto your people. So the question is, Moses is not going into Israel. So why should Hashem tease him like that? Guess what? Go take a look at it. You're strongly gonna desire to be there, but guess what? Too bad. Afterwards you're gonna die. But what is what is Hashem doing? And twice it says, and you should look at it. Why is what's this idea that Moses should look at it? And what I believe the Torah is teaching us over here, and what Hashem is teaching us, and what Hashem knew that Moshe can do was continue to be the excellent leader that he was. Hashem needed that Moshe should go up and take a look at the land of Israel. Why? Because when Moshe will behold the, the land of Israel, the beauty that it has, the holiness that it has, that will become apparent on Moshe's face. Why is that important? Why that's important is because then when Moshe will be, will be able to tell over to the people how fortunate, how lucky they are, he will have experienced somewhat what the land of Israel is all about. And if Moshe will be so excited about the land, then his job as a leader of the people was to make sure to inspire them to want to go. Now, why should they want to go? Because while they were in the while they were in the desert, life over there was actually wonderful. They didn't have to anything to worry about. They didn't have to worry about any food. Hashem took care of every, took care of every of their every of their every need. But if Moshe was going to be so excited and he was going to have a desire to go then, then the people would mirror the same excitement that Moshe had and they would want to go. I believe it was a similar idea when Moshe Rabbeinu made Joshua the heir apparent to take over the Jewish people and to become their leader, that Hashem specifically told him to instruct Joshua to be the next leader in front of the people. Why? Because if later it came about, that Joshua would be the leader, they would, you know, they would agree to he's the leader. But if the people saw that Moses himself felt that Joshua was the one to take over and he was excited about it, about Moshe's appointment, then they would also in turn be excited. So we see Moshe's job towards the people. I heard this, by the way, from my sons, uh, Rosh Hashiva, Rabbi Heshi Schwartz. He shared this idea with the people. According to how the excitement of the leaders so is the excitement of the people. And Hashem needed Moshe to be excited on both these things, on both these accounts, and certainly when it came to the land of Israel. And so therefore Moshe, Hashem was not trying to tease him, but rather Hashem was allowing Moshe to be the leader that he was, the excellent leader that he was. And even if he couldn't himself go in, Moshe was willing to swallow that just so that the people should be able to have this tremendous excitement to go into the land of Israel. And that's the amazingness of Moshe, and Hashem knew the amazingness of Moshe, and therefore Hashem knew that he can trust Moshe with this teasing of bringing, allowing him to go up to see the land of Israel. Have a good Shabbos. Thank you for listening, and hope that you tune in next week as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.